Rich Madden with the Maritime Safety Innovation Lab, here today with a crew health alert. Today we're going to be talking about appendicitis. In July 2024, the Guard P&I Club released their 2024 crew claims report. This report covers the years 2019 through 2023, a five-year period. And this crew claims report covers illnesses, injuries, and fatalities on board. Now, certainly a lot of the claims in that period involved COVID-19 issues. To ensure that those don't skew the numbers, they've actually removed COVID issues from most of their data. Nearly half, or 49% to be exact, of Guard P&I Club's claims are related to the quote-unquote people factors. With 3,000 people factors cases a year, that averages out to about eight a day. And when we break down these people factors cases, about two thirds of them, 64%, are illnesses, about a third are injuries, and the remainder 4% are fatalities. So are you getting the idea yet that illnesses play a big part in their claims? The types of, types of illnesses that we run across most on ships, or that Guard is running across most on ships, start off over the past five years right at the top with COVID-19 issues. The next four are abdominal pain, back pain, heart issues, and appendicitis. And of those, stomach pain and back pain are two of the most frequently experienced symptoms. Now these can range from something very benign to something very severe. For example, stomach pain or abdominal pain can be one of the ways that appendicitis is exhibited. In fact, it's one of the primary ways that appendicitis is exhibited. Appendicitis is dangerous if not treated promptly, so immediate medical attention is necessary to verify the diagnosis. And sometimes these cases are going to require medevac to avoid rupture of the appendix and serious injury or death. Given the relatively high frequency of these cases, Guard P&I Club recommends the use of the Mariner's Medico Guide, which is a free download and is a good resource to have on your phone or tablet. This guide allows you to make an early assessment as it's based on observable symptoms. And certainly it also recommends contacting your medical advisory service as soon as possible. If you have the Mariner's Medico Guide or MMG open on your phone or tablet, we're gonna take a look at some of the features that would help us identify appendicitis. There are a lot of different features and a lot of uh, functionality within this app, which we'll take a look at another time, but for right now, we're gonna just focus on abdominal pain and appendicitis. You first open up the app, it shows you a body and says, guide me, you know, choose a body part. So let's choose the stomach. And when we choose the abdomen, we get a number of symptoms and injuries down at the bottom. And one of the first ones is abdominal pain. We open up abdominal pain and up at the top, we see highlights. The urgency ranges from self-limiting to life-threatening conditions. And this all depends on location, onset, severity, and quality of pain, which may guide the diagnosis. Da scrolling down, we see what to do. You get an overview, explore the symptoms, these are, this is all good information that you can pass along to your medical advisory service. And then, as you scroll down further towards the bottom, examine the person. And one of the things it says is examine the abdomen. So if we tap on abdomen, it's gonna take us to an abdominal examination. And most of us aren't doctors, nurses, EMTs, or have a significant medical background. So it guides us, it gives us definitions so that we can talk to those professionals, that medical advisory service, and give them the information that they're gonna to need to help us make a diagnosis. As we scroll down, we see directions on how to do an abdominal examination. Look at the abdomen. Visible changes, is it the abdomen distended or swollen? And then talks about touching and feeling the abdomen. How to do that. And it'll also have us look at rebound tenderness, which is also called Bloomberg signs, which will give us a better idea if this is appendicitis or some other type of abdominal injury or illness. And then down at the bottom, we have McBurney sign. This is pressing your hand or fingers into a particular point, which is 
basically right on the pelvis, and pain indicates acute appendicitis. Another reference that would be good for helping to identify appendicitis comes from the West PNI Club. This was published in April of 2024 due to an increasing incidence where appendicitis was misdiagnosed as a, some sort of other abdominal pain. Now looking at this poster, we see some of the typical signs and symptoms of appendicitis. But just to remind everybody that not all of these signs and symptoms might be present in your case or the case of your crew member. And then down at the bottom of this poster is an action plan with the header that this is an emergency. You need to contact your telemedicine provider immediately. Contact your medical advisory service and start talking about options. Give medication as recommended by your telemedicine provider. And if your patient can reach a hospital within four to six hours, don't give them food or liquid. Keep them in bed, record their temperature, pulse, and respiration rates. The reason you're not gonna give them that food or liquids in that four to six hours is because they're going to, be going to be going into surgery almost immediately. So remember, appendicitis normally starts with some sort of abdominal pain, and that is the number one illness according to the Guard PNI Club. So abdominal pain, back pain, heart issues, and then number four is appendicitis. Early identification of appendicitis is critical in obtaining a positive outcome of these cases. The last thing we have to do is to take a look at a report from the Nautical Institute MARS, or Mariner's Alerting and Reporting Scheme. This MARS alert, 202208, is titled Medical Mayhem. And this involves a vessel that was on an extended anchorage in an isolated port where a crew member started exhibiting abdominal pain. And it soon became evident that the crew member was going to have to go ashore for medical attention. So they went through the process, they got the crew member ashore, there were delays, and there were also lessons learned. Out of any incident, there should be some lessons learned. So some of the lessons learned from this particular Mars report include that the master needs an emergency plan. And this emergency plan should include, you know, who you're gonna contact, how you're gonna contact them, and what you need to get a crew member ashore. Some, some ports are gonna require shore passes, and signing off procedures are going to be a little bit more convoluted or difficult depending on where in the world you are. Location of the nearest hospitals. Now, if you don't know the location of the nearest hospitals, hopefully your medical advisory service can assist you with this. And then when you send a crew member ashore, are they going to be able to speak to the local doctors? Do they need an interpreter? And finally, if the crew member is severely ill, they may need a advocate for them at the hospital or the medical facility to ensure that they're getting the proper medical care. Appendicitis, one of the top four illnesses that you might run across on board a ship. Again, abdominal pain, back pain, heart issues, and appendicitis. If you have a plan in mind when any of these issues arise, you'll, you'll be able to get a good diagnosis, proper medical treatment, and a positive outcome for your crew members. Till next time, let's be safe out there.